Tsunami advisory in effect for California as waves hit Tonga following volcanic eruption. An underwater volcano in the South Pacific erupted violently on Saturday, causing tsunamis to hit Hawaii, Japan, and Tonga's largest island, Tongatapu, sending waves flooding into the capital. The Hunga Tonga Hunga Haapai volcano, about 30 kilometers (18.6 miles) southeast of Tonga's Fanuafoo Island first erupted on Friday and a second time on Saturday around 5.26 p.m. local time, according to CNN affiliate Radio New Zealand, RNZ. The eruption sent a plume of ash, gas and steam 20 kilometers, 12.4 miles, into the air, according to RNZ. Satellite imagery showed a massive ash cloud and shockwaves spreading from the eruption. Ash was falling from the sky. We have a, tsunami here. Uh, a tsunami has hit Tonga's largest island, reportedly sent waves flooding into the capital. This happened after an underwater volcano, and you're going to see it right here. Um, that it, This is in South Pacific. It, it exploded in that violent eruption, that satellite video that caught it. Well, let's bring in meteorologist Allison Chinshaw. Allison, what do we know about the tsunami? Right, so it actually happened last night, Eastern Time. It basically happened at 5.27 p.m. on the 14th. That would have been 11 p.m. last night, Eastern Time. Um, and very locally, uh, uh, some high tsunami waves in and around right where the volcanic eruption took place. Now, some really fascinating video coming in. Take a look at this. Again, you can see the initial eruption there and the subsequent shock wave that takes place because of the eruption outer edges here um, after the eruption takes place. Again, just really incredible to kind of show the scope of the volcanic eruption. But yes, it was an underwater volcano. So again, as it's pushing up, it's displacing some of that water around it. So you are going to get some decent sized tsunami waves, um, again, around the local region here. So you had several around Tonga, Vanuatu, Hawaii, and then Norfolk Island, Australia, ending up with the highest, at least so far, observed wave at about 4.2 feet. Now, one one thing to note, um, the Pacific Tsunami Warning Center, they're all keeping a very close eye on this. They are saying that if there were any unusual wave heights to arrive along the west coast of the U.S., it wouldn't be until about 6.15 a.m. A tsunami has hit Tonga's largest island, Tongatapu. Elsewhere, Australia's Bureau of Meteorology said it recorded a tsunami wave of 1.2 meters, about 4 feet near Nukulofa at 5.30 p.m. local time on Saturday. And the Pacific Tsunami Warning Center said tsunami waves of 2.7 feet, 0.8 meters, were observed by gauges at Nukulofa and waves of 2 feet at Pago Pago, the capital of American Samoa, Reuters reported. The nearby island of Fiji also issued a public advisory asking people living in low-lying coastal areas to move to safety in anticipation of the strong currents and dangerous waves. Footage from the ground shows people fleeing to higher ground in Suva, the capital of Fiji, as large waves hit the coast. In Samoa, another Pacific island nation, a tsunami watch is in effect for all low-lying coastal areas, the Samoa Meteorological Service said, with residents and visitors advised to stay away from beach areas. An earlier tsunami advisory for the Pacific Island nation of Vanuatu was discontinued, with the country's National Disaster Management issuing an and I want to bring in Robin Andrews. He's a science journalist, a volcanologist. He's also the author of the book Super Volcanoes, what they reveal about the Earth and the worlds beyond. Robin, we appreciate you sharing your expertise with us this morning. Those satellite images are really stunning. Explain to our viewers what's happening in these images and, and how these volcanic eruptions can lead to multiple tsunami warnings and advisories. Yeah, so the first thing to point out is that this part of the world, it's like no surprise that there is volcanic activity happening. I mean, I think a couple of years ago, uh, an island was destroyed by an eruption, and then it kind of built a new island out of that eruption. So you, you get to see this kind of destructive and creative process happening at the same time. And as you can see with these, like, rather 
jaw-dropping satellite images is that uh, sometimes when you have um, eruptions uh, mingling with water in this way, you can get quite explosive events. And this kind of this kind of boom that everyone's seeing on the satellite imagery, it's literally, um, it, it's a very large explosive part of this eruption that's kind of pushed the atmosphere out of the way, essentially. It's not that different to, you know, an, an enormous, you know, um, human-made uh, explosive in that sense, in that you're just pushing all the air out of the way. So that's kind of, what you're seeing here, a rather large, like, explosive sort of pulse of this kind of ongoing eruption, which has been going on since mid-December. Um, and as for why that kind of created a tsunami, I think scientists aren't quite sure exactly what happened here. But in order to get a tsunami, you need to displace a lot of water uh, very quickly. Um, so perhaps part of the volcano sort of uh, fell off underwater um, and just sort of pushed um, seawater out of the way. Um, but... People are looking into these images and they'll come up with a more concrete explanation. But yeah, it's not surprising that a, a, a violent uh, volcanic eruption from a sort of underwater, partially underwater volcano has caused this kind of tsunami. It's just fortunate that it's not worse at the moment, although people on um, in the archipelago are obviously seeing it slightly more severely. So obviously thoughts are, are with them at the moment. Hopefully everyone's safe. We have a tsunami warning at this time. Uh, please evacuate to higher grounds immediately. This is from an eruption, volcanic eruption near Tonga. Um, and we are now under a tsunami warning for American Samoa. Please head to higher grounds immediately if you are in the danger zone. Thank you.